The main part is this solid bar with a circle in the middle and often a letter on either side. The straight line indicates a ship's primary load line, which just means that you can load cargo until the water line reaches that line. The higher the line is up the side of the ship, the more cargo you can load and the more money you can make. Its position is designed to give enough clearance between the water line and the freeboard deck as indicated by this line above the circle. Essentially, a ship is completely watertight until the freeboard deck, so the more space between the load line and the freeboard deck, the better. But remember, the lower the line, the less cargo you can hold and the less money you can make. The final bits on this circle are the letters on either side. These just show the classification society that's authorised the load line. It could be LR for Lloyd's Register, AB for the American Bureau of Shipping, BV for Bureau Veritas, VL for DNVGL, IR for the Indian Register of Shipping, NK for Class NK, or RI for the Registro Italiano Navale. You'll have to forgive my pronunciation of some of those, I'm a little hopeless at that. Anyway, to one side of the circular symbol, you'll see the load line tree with the primary branch starting at the same height as the line through the circle. Notice there's a little S on it telling us this is the summer load line. I've already said that it's the primary or default load line, it's the one that applies in most situations, but what I didn't say was that this is only the primary or default in seawater.